y'all and welcome back to the vlog. I can't believe that this is the start of my labor and delivery vlog. It's Wednesday, May the 1st. It will be baby boy's birthday today. Um, originally we were supposed to be at the hospital at 5 30 a.m. this morning but labor and delivery called me yesterday evening and asked if I could actually come in at 12 at lunchtime instead because um, the doctor had some surgeries come up. So it's almost 11 30. We just left the house. Got all of our bags in here. Told the girls bye. Um, so we're headed to the hospital now to get induced. Are you excited? I am. Very excited. I'm very excited, very nervous. Um, gotta be there at 12, gotta register, get checked in, all that. And then we'll head up to labor and delivery. I, I'm pretty sure they'll start, start like IV first, Pitocin, all that, before they break my water later this afternoon. I was thinking he was gonna be here by lunchtime with me being there at 5.30 in the morning. But since it changed, I'm gonna guess more like 7 or 8 p.m. tonight. What do you think? Um, yeah, probably around 7. Yeah. 6 or 7. Sometime, sometime this there. evening. Depending on how late it is, is we'll, we'll decide if we're gonna pick the girls up tonight to let them meet the baby or wait until in the morning, just depending on how late he gets here tonight. But anyway, we are on our way to the hospital. going down all right so we've been here for about an hour and 10 or 15 minutes and i have not even had time to pick the camera up at all so as soon as we got in the room um i got changed laid down they got me hooked up to monitors the doctor came in and checked me i was already at three centimeters on my own um so she went ahead and broke my water so everything's just been happening like so quick she broke my water at 12 18 p.m it's now like one minute till one um, and as soon as she broke my water, like the contractions I was already having on my own a little bit really picked up. They started Pitocin, started my IVs, all of that. So now we just wait. Um, we've got the contractions being monitored over, over there, my heart rate, his heart rate. Thank the Lord everything's looking good so far. So hopefully by, it might be a little earlier than I thought since my water was broke earlier than what I thought. Maybe around five or six we'll have a baby. I guess we'll see. Josh just went downstairs and got all of our bags out of the car. Got my pillow. Are you comfortable? I like this couch. Yeah. Oh, does that one let out into a bed? I'm sure it does. Here we are, baby number 10, baby boy. And uh, everything looks good, going good so far. Hey, we want to say thank you for everybody who's been praying and thinking about Shasta and the baby. We really appreciate your prayers. We really do. All right, so it's a little bit after two now. It's 10 after two. I just got checked again. I'm now at four centimeters, so definitely making progress. The contractions have picked up. They're closer together, they're stronger. Um, so as soon as I'm done with my fluids, I'm going to get my epidural and then hopefully it won't be long till baby since I moved a centimeter in what, like an hour? No, two hours? About two hours, I went up a centimeter and I could definitely feel it because the contractions were just getting stronger and closer together.
All right, so it's now five to six. They just came in and checked me a few minutes ago and I'm at six centimeters. So not much longer to go. Um, earlier, about an hour and a half ago, they had to come in and put a peanut ball in between my legs because the baby's heart rate was actually um, dropping just a little bit during contractions. But once I got on my left side, that helped a lot. So now I'm able to lay on my back again and we're just waiting. All right, y'all, so it is now the next day. It's about 11 o'clock. Um, I did not do any vlogging. 
last night after he was born obviously we were we were tired we were focused on baby um we did set the camera up to get like the actual birth but at some point my battery died on my camera so i need to once i edit this i'll see how much i have of it and share with y'all and i will share baby boy with y'all here in just a minute he's absolutely precious he's perfect um more than that we could have imagined but i just wanted to update on how things went with labor and delivery and then i will show you baby boy so y'all know that i arrived at the hospital yesterday at 12 p.m my water was broke at 12 18 p.m um i had labored all day long i got my epidural i think around three o'clock i can't remember i think i updated yesterday i think it was around three o'clock when i got my epidural um I kind of slowly dilated throughout the day, but then once it hit like, I think six centimeters, it was kind of pretty fast from there. Um, by 7.25, 7.20, 7 p.m. last night, I felt like it was time to push. I was feeling the pressure. Um, so I was checked. She said I was complete. I was complete. So that is the time that she actually called the doctor back in. The doctor had actually been here all day long. Like she had been labor and delivery floor right now is crazy like all the rooms are full so many babies yesterday today the day before um so she was going to take her little break and go grab some coffee last night after seven and as soon as she said that and left she was still in the parking lot it was time for me to have the baby so they had to call her back from the parking lot she came back up just in time um and it was time to start pushing it was my hardest delivery out of all 10 of my children it was my hardest it was my longest time pushing um it was my longest time in later labor after my water broke so i started pushing i don't know maybe like 7 25 to 7 30 somewhere around there and i was thinking it was gonna be like all of my other girls 10 minutes and baby would be out that was not the case with him um once i started pushing she realized that he was kind of like laying on his side like looking to the side and also not only that but he was behind my pubic bone so he had to make his way around the pubic bone to you know to make it out um so i pushed for quite a while and she actually tried to turn him while he was in there he did not like that at all he turned right back to where he was which made labor a little bit longer a little bit more difficult um so i pushed for 35 40 minutes maybe something like that he was born at 8 7 p.m last night so he did get here later than all of us thought he was going to be we thought he was going to be earlier um so he was born but y'all he is a true miracle like i hope to sit down and do like a birth story soon while it's fresh in my mind of all the details in my pregnancy and his delivery but he was born with not one but two true knots in his umbilical cord like the doctor was absolutely amazed she could see that as he was coming out um too like they were completely tied really tight knots and if you know anything about that if you have a knot in the middle cord even one especially two it cuts off all nutrients of the baby oxygen food um but he was born perfectly healthy such a big boy so strong um and the lord was just in it all during labor during delivery after his birth, he was in every little part of it, and I could just feel that. Um, actually, midway through me pushing, I just felt like we needed to stop and pray. Um, so I asked Josh to pray with me. We prayed. Our doctor actually started praying with us. It was just a very sweet moment, and after we prayed, um, just a few pushes later, he was out, and it was over, and I just thank the Lord for that. It was just a sweet, sweet birth, um, but he was born at 8.07 p.m. He weighed... Here's what y'all been waiting on, I think, because everybody thought he was going to be a big boy. And we were right. He was nine, he's nine pounds, seven ounces. So he's not exactly my biggest. My second daughter was nine fifteen, but he's very close. He's got the cutest little chubby cheeks ever. Um, and I will tell y'all his name. We decided, we did not decide on his name until he was born. We wanted to look at him. We had names that we were talking about, but we didn't decide on until we got to see his little face. So his name is Jackson David, which suits him perfectly. Jackson is actually a variant of John in Hebrew, and it means God is gracious. And, like, it just suits him perfectly because God has been so gracious throughout this whole pregnancy with, you know, the placenta thing can be in transverse, then a miracle delivery. Um, so God has definitely been very gracious through all of this. So it suits him. And then David is actually Joshua, Josh's middle name. So 
He takes that from Josh. So we have a little Jackson David and he's precious. Josh actually just went to go pick up all of our other girls so they come to the hospital and see him. We had planned on them coming yesterday to see him because we had planned on him being born earlier in the day, but he was not. So by the time he was here, it was getting late, you know, after you have skin to skin and clean up and there's just a lot that goes along with after delivery postpartum stuff. Um, we decided to be best to wait till this morning. So they're all so excited to come see him. I think I'm going to keep my camera running while they come and meet him for the first time and get some of their little facial expressions. We have sent them some pictures, but they have not got to see him in person yet. Um, so I'm going to share him with y'all because I know you're waiting to see what this sweet little boy looks like. We love him so much already. He's so content. He's a really good baby. Um, he woke up last night at 2 and he woke up again at 6 to eat. And he's just, he's just so content. Like, even with his first diaper change, he did not cry through it. The only time he has cried is when they had to poke him. Since he was on the bigger side, they wanted to check his sugars every three hours. Thankfully, he passed all of that. That's done. Um, I, I just had big babies, so I wasn't really worried about his sugars or anything like that. But anyway, thank y'all for praying with us and being here with us. Um, I'm doing good. I am more sore than I have ever been after a delivery, but that's given just with it being a harder birth yesterday. Um, but other than that, I'm doing well, and he's doing well, so I'm going to stop talking and share him with y'all now. And here is our little Jackson David. He's so precious. Daddy got him swaddled up before he left to go get the girls so I could do some pictures of him, and he just did this little scratch this morning. He didn't have that, but he scratched his little face this morning. Um, so there he is. He's just a big boy, such a big boy, and so sweet. Hopefully, I'll get him awake here soon, and y'all can see him awake and how cute he is he did have his eyes wide open for me at six o'clock this morning when i was feeding him um, but ever since then he's been kind of in and out there they come they're coming to meet you baby boy they're coming to meet you Okay, it's okay. You don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Millie. Millie. What do you think about him? Is he cute? Hey, Mimi. <laughs> what do y'all think about him, girls? He's the best fish in the world. He's better than a puppy or anything. <laughs> Mama. 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 Did y'all see it? I, I missed you I so much. I didn't tell you what I did, doctor. I missed you so much, too. Did y'all tell Millie his name? Yes, she at home. She kept saying, "I want to see my baby Jackson." Oh, no, Millie. But she keeps saying, "My baby." <coughs> Millie is What's in his name? Uh, Jackson. You said uh, Jackson. Jackson. Mama, <laughs> mommy, shoes, mama. You need a Mister. My shoes. Oh, yeah. I just want to wear socks. You like my socks? Mister. Mister. You see his boppy, Everly? Oh, I think y'all wait and get the wings. So he could play on it. So Josh and the girls just left. They had a fit over him. Everybody got to hold him one at a time for a little while and spend some time with him. He slept through it all. I have him back now while Josh takes, well, he's going to go get the girls some lunch. Um, they're going to go get some Chick-fil-A and then he's going to take them back home, let them eat lunch. And then he'll be back to the hospital. Um, here where we are, our, our hospital does like... Um, what do they call it, like a couple's dinner? After you have a newborn, they either do it for lunch or dinner. So they're bringing that to us at lunchtime. Um, I'm getting steak, kibachi, and Josh is doing salmon. So they do like one big dinner after you have a baby, which is really nice. So we'll get that at lunchtime. So after he takes the girls home and they eat, he'll come back and we'll have that lunch together here and just hang out with little Jackson for the day because we will not get to go home until probably about 9 p.m. tonight if all goes well you know he passes his hearing test and jaundice and all the things um that newborns need to pass and so far everything's looking good with me so all goes well lord willing we will be going home about 9 p.m. tonight so that is good we're ready to get home with sissies right get home with sissies and hang out but anyway, I think I'm going to end this birth vlog out here. I thank y'all so much for watching, for hanging out with us, for praying for us, for being here. We love y'all. Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and we will talk to you in the comments. Bye, friends.